Pondering where to start, I stand on the fringe between talking loud and saying nothing. And often my rage burns persistent, like the equatorial sun. My fortune can usually be found shining bejeweled on my wrists, or dangling from my neck in precious metals, like a noose. Fit for the spook who sat on his ass for too long by the door. I find myself marveling at the fact that one's either a pimp or a whore here, trying to fly the clear blue skies and then caress the great American city at the same time. Brothers walking the line between blackness and getting their ass busted wide open by Afrocentricity. Now I understand why brothers from other continents think we ain't shit on sight. Things fall apart in the great U.S. of A. Toilet bowl of the world. Pristine white and full of shit. Downright confusing to any who give into its gaze of melting pot fantasy turned mongrel stew daydream. Hey, you know, maybe they'll start calling us blacks Indians. And us Indians colors, and us colors bantus and hot and tots. Most of the brothers I know will find a way to make it hit. And then hop their way to the NAACP for some more superficial smoke screens to lay over the rest of the crew. And then we can get back to doing what we do best. Shooting down our own stars in the night. And sleeping with one eye open to Welcome to safety of the morning light. But I wondered, just who are they? And exactly which us have I been saying is being held down? It's like, ain't nobody got their hands on me and I still can't get up off my high horse long enough to face up to whatever I've been running from. Crying foul in a dirty business and it's permissible because we are hypocrites anyway all you gotta do is make up your mind like either carry the ball or drop it there's plenty more players ready to get in this game making us all damn near expendable replaceable Talking loud and saying nothing. 